they don't let me out. They don't call my name. They don't read the four chapters. Now I'm back, Rick Sitch. I've been born again. Master, hit the switch. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome from the USA, the former Olympic silver medalist, it's Ilya Lupescu! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending two-time champion of the world, Maxim Smirya! Lupulescu has only come off court a few minutes ago. I wonder if that'll work in his favour, in that he's warm, or not in his favour, in that he hasn't had enough time to kind of rest up. It's going to be an absolutely intriguing contrast in styles, and these two have been the standout performers of the tournament as well. We're almost ready to go. Let's hand you over to our commentators for the final of the World Championship of Ping Pong, Matthew Syed, Tony West, and Colin Wilson. Thank you, Tony. What an occasion, what an atmosphere. The World Championship final of ping pong brings together the two outstanding players of the championship. Maxim Shmiryev of Russia, the defending champion, and his opponent from the United States of America. It's Ilya Lupulescu. So at the far end of the table, in black, Lupulescu, the lefty, undefeated, not lost a single game in the competition so far. 46 years of age, a former silver medalist in table tennis at the Olympic Games in Seoul. Been so impressive throughout this championship. Competition favourite, he's justified that billing. 41 years of age, he's dropped a couple of games. The quarterfinals against Rumgate, rather controversial. We've made it through, and this is a chance for a three-time championship for Maxim Shmiryev. Best of five, remember, this final. First of 15 in each game. And this is a moment we've been waiting for. It's been building up over the course of 48 hours here at Alexander Palace, the climax of this championship. A really wonderful buzz around this auditorium. A real sense of expectancy. Can Lupulescu find a way to defeat the man who defeated him in the semi-finals last year? Best of five games. This is the opener. Shmiryev of Russia with serve. Straight away, Luke Lescu getting a very tight angle on his first backhand down the line. Wow. Just wide with the flick, Schmiria. And for me, Colin, I think the key here is Lupinescu drops away from the table. Is he going to be able to contain the power of the Russian? Well, I think it's very difficult to. 
He's also got to hit some winners, and I think Shmirev has shown his intention straight away to play the first ball against the serve wide of Lukalescu's forehand, and then look to play into the backhand where he's not quite so strong. Yeah, that was a tactic we were expecting. Already that's the pattern that's emerging after six points, but Lukalescu holding his own. trying to exploit the Lupalescu backhand, sometimes playing wide and then switching, and sometimes playing directly into that backhand wing, the weaker wing of the American. Shmirev yeah, going wide again, flicking the service wide of the forehand and then playing into the backhand. That's brilliant from Lupulescu, playing the backhand down the line, forcing Shmirev to play with his weaker wing. It's very tactical, these opening sequences. Yeah, Lupulescu, I think, is going to get the, the most joy hitting down the line, either forehand down the line from his forehand side, or forehand or backhand down the line from his backhand corner. He's so good at hitting down the line as he does so there. That's the one, but Shmirev's up. Up for it. Seem to be in control, always seem to have time, but the extra power of, of Shmuria was taking that time away and he's starting to actually have to stretch to reach the balls, which we haven't seen yet to, today. Yeah, that's a great point, Tony. It's just that fraction of a second quicker through the air. And Lupulescu, who has looked in such consummate control, is suddenly struggling for time. Shmiriev now, two serves to come. Oh, the gap opens up. This is rather ominous for Lupulescu. Lucas has got to believe in himself. Um, chatting to Andrew, um, Andrew Bagley, who played him, uh, he felt that Lupi was a bit short of confidence against Maxim. Well, that is the gambit that maybe Lucas is going to have to use. Take the ball early, just surprise Shmiria from time to time. Oh, what a shot! That is unbelievable from Schmidt. Yeah, Lupulescu, the acute angle. I mean, how on earth did he find the space? Get the acceleration so cramped up. And a very acute angle. Well, that's why he is the world champion. <laughs> Lupulescu's looking rather crestfallen. 11 6. Six, twelve. Yeah, Lupi just trying to do a bit too much on the return of serve, feeling a little bit under pressure. Needs to get the ball on the table first. Oh. Six, well, this has been an emphatic opening game for Maxim Shmiriev of Russia. A bit of inside-outside spin on that forehand. Let Let's serve Lupulescu. It's been blown off the table here. Let Let's go. Pure, unadulterated power. That's the trademark of Maxim Shmiriev. My goodness, he takes it early. So much energy and action on the ball. And eight game points. Let's serve. Let's 14, six. 14, 7. 8, 14. Well, two in a row for Lupulescu, but I can't see a way back for him in this opener. And there it is, Lupulescu with the forehand off the side of the table. That's the opening game. 
for Maxim Shmiriev of Russia, 15-8. He takes an early lead in this World Championship final. Yeah, and I feel like of all the players, Maxim Shmiriev is reading when Lutolescu plays his forehand from the forehand side down the line. Shmiriev is getting there and he's not being sent the wrong way. A little bit better anticipation and I think we can underestimate the anticipation and the feeling that Maxim Shmiriev has as well. We see it obviously with, Lu with Lutolescu but I think it's there with Shmiriev as well even though we talk about his power. Interesting, uh, Tony, that lupalescu has gone back to a coach for advice. Shmiriev doesn't have anybody in his corner. Yeah, we saw this in his previous game. When he won the first set, he didn't take any advice. When he lost the second set, he, he then did. Um, so at the moment, I guess he's feeling confident. Um, maybe he only goes to, for that advice once he's, he's feeling that he, he needs some help. Yeah, well spotted. There are some Russian compatriots in the crowd here at Alexandra Palace. So the players will swap bats. Shmiriev looking comfortable, looking composed. Lupulescu with it all to do at the beginning of game two. I don't think I've seen Shmiriev play this well ever. <laughs> and he's played pretty well before. I think um, we're getting a new definition today of world-class ping pong. There's no question that this is a stronger game than it was in the semi-final last year. I think if Luke Lesky played this well last year, he'd have won against uh, Maxime Shmirev, but both players have raised their game. I think that's spot on. That was a perfect illustration from Luke Lesky. But he hasn't got the time, has he? The point you made, Tony, the ball's on him so fast, he can't drop away and open the shoulders. Producing that error. Yeah. It just makes Lupulescu for the first time in the competition look just a little bit stretched. The play there from Lupulescu stayed up at the table and uh, took the ball a bit earlier. Maybe we'll see more of that from him now. got caught up in the lights because it took an eternity to come down. Extraordinary point, but the shot from Shmiriev that caused the behind-the-back shot from Lupulescu was absolutely superb. And there again, Lupulescu playing his forehand down the line into Shmiriev's forehand. Shmiriev reads it and then returns the favour. Not pleasant. And he returned it with interest, didn't he? Lupulescu played a good point and lost it emphatically. Oh, oh, oh! Lupulescu! <laughs> well, well, well. Didn't How on earth did he find both the I time think, to play the forehand, but also got it on the white line? I he think nailed he saw, saw Shmirev running around and knew that down the line was open. You expressed it well, Colin. We're getting a new definition of high-level ping pong. Shmiria, 15-8 in the first game, 6-4 up in game ball. number Shmiria. two. Double point from Shmiria. And a double pointer. Up. Well, what a moment to take it. So far in the competition, my feeling is players have taken it rather too late. Shmiria with an early intervention. This is a big moment. Suddenly, after a pretty decent start from Lupulescu, the gap after that double pointer moves to four. That was a smart gambit from Shmiriev, Colin. Yeah, suddenly, 
It looks like the gradient is much greater to climb. I feel that when it comes to his serve, he's going to need to use it himself. Well, he's having to pull shots out of the top drawer to stay in this second game. It's a great point for the American, but it is intimidating. He's having to play at that level to stay with Shmiriev. Last year's final, Shmiryov took a one-set lead against Sule and then let him back in. He'll be determined to get a two-set two cushion against Lupulescu here. It's beginning to look unstoppable. This is ferocious ping pong. I mean, it's unbelievable. When you think how hard he's hitting it, how slim the margin of error, he's making virtually no errors, Miriam. I said to Tony earlier, he's turned the gravity up. <laughs> it's the only way you can make the ball come down of the, of the other side of the net. I mean, this is frankly almost ridiculous ping pong. I mean, Lupulescu is being obliterated out there. Not dropped a game up until this final. And if you've ever seen a table tennis player have the perfect game for ping pong, you're seeing it here with Maxim Shmiriev. He runs around and plays his forehand a lot, but not to compensate for a weak backhand. But just his backhand is also strong, but it's an opportunity rather than a threat when he's playing from the backhand corner. So eight game points. Seven. And there is a real sense of. Well, I wouldn't say defeatism. Lupulescu's got enough experience to know that he's still got a fighting chance in this final. But he's got to find a new tactic. A fresh approach, because at the moment it's all Shmiriev. He takes the second game, 15-7. This has been a stunning performance so far by the defending champion. He is one game away from a third title. Yeah, terrific stuff, Shmiriev. Um, right, he's looking on the wall at the moment for Lupulescu, but he's got to think of finding a way back with his coach into this match. Shmiriov looked awesome earlier. What impressed me so much was when each time a set was taken against him, he seemed to up his level. He seems to constantly have more in the, more in the tank. It is remarkable. One of the most emphatic performances I think we've ever seen in this form of the sport. Lupulescu's getting some advice. But what can he say, Colin? What can the coach tell a player who's been so on the receiving end of such a beating? Well, I think one of the things that we've seen in this championships is change of pace can be as, Im as important as constant pace. And if one person has the feeling to be able to change the pace, it's Lupulescu. Whether he can do it under this onslaught of pressure, I'm not sure. But if Lupulescu um, maybe can come in, play faster, go out, play slower, change it, mix it up, he might just draw an error or two from Shmirev to put him back in the game. I think that's right on the money. Can he deliver? Shmirev in control. As we start the beginning of game number three. One love. Four. Love two. Well, that is precisely the start that Lupulescu feared. Wouldn't it be a smart One, move, two. perhaps, to take the double-point gambit early in the game, just to try and get a bit of momentum? Yes, yeah, exactly what I was just thinking, uh, Matthew. I think you don't want to get any further behind before using it here. Luke 
Pulaski trying to find a way, navigate a path back into this final. The winner's check is $20,000, remember. Four. Four, one. It's looking desperate already. Four. One five. And you can see the negativity, Colin. You can understand yeah. why. Well, where do you go from here? Yeah. I think Lupulescu has played six pretty good points, and he's got one out, one, one of those for himself. And Shmiras walked off with five of them. Oh. Not playing badly, but I think in the end, it's just about speed and the time you've one got to organise your body to play the strokes you want to play. And it doesn't help when you get a, a lucky edge ball against you. And I think you're right. Lupulescu First has not dipped ball. in any way. The level of play. And now we do get a double point. And this is key. Can close the gap to three. And I mean, we're gasping in the commentary box. This is sublime stuff. Yeah, it's so hard for Lupulescu. It's easy for us to say, can he slow the game down a bit, Second change the pace? Ball. But when the ball's being bombed at you yeah. at such pace, how do you take the pace off? I don't know how Lupulescu can play the ball any lower, because it's not his game to play really low over the net. It's another double pointer right here for Schmiria. He's taken his second one already. Nine, one. Oh, and that, that is just so smart from the Russian. He defended the double pointer from Lupulescu. He returned the favour with interest. 9 1. Two double pointers allowed in this match because it's best of five, not best of three games. I'm not even sure Lupulescu is going to get the chance to take his second one. This has been such a one sided final. Yeah, frightening when you consider one, how yeah. easily Lupulescu has won the rest of his matches, not dropping a set all day, and then comes to the final, and the bombardment that he's receiving from Shmiryov is just overwhelming him at the moment. Forehand smash from Lupulescu. But it's too little, too late. Shmiryov has been just magnificent. This has been a worthy performance from a defending champion. So a real sense of inevitability has come to surround this World Championship final. Shmiryev has been too good. He's dropped games en route to this final, but he's going into exhibition mode now. I don't think there's any way back for Lupulescu. It's been a valiant effort by the American. He's been outgunned. And there's the switch wide of the forehand, then into the backhand. Exactly what we were talking about. Maxime's got the right tactics. Just deploys different things at different times to take it. And what a wonderful display of ping pong this has been. The best, I think, ping pong that anyone has ever seen. I love the point that Tony made. Tactics really go out of the window when the ball's being smashed past your ears at 100 miles an hour every time. And Shmiryev is slowing it down there. He knows he's won. He's trying to get a few rallies going. I wonder if Lupulescu, however, still believes. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if he tries his other double point. He's still got one left. Just long with the flick. The gap closes to six. Look how keen Shmiryev is to get stuck into the next rally. Well, the audience is getting involved. They were hoping for a tight tussle, an epic final to climax what has been a magnificent weekend of ping pong. But I don't th think that Shmiryev is going to allow that to happen. The killer instinct is very keen. And that backhand illustrates it on the diagonal, on the half volley. Maxim Shmiryev, after just a few minutes of ping pong, has six world championship points. Nine, 14. 
so final stages thank you Matthew 14 9 comprehensively in in, uh, in charge here Question mark going on. <laughs> Shall I take the double point ball? I think he's saying. Surely the answer is yes. <laughs> he's going to carry on. Valiant in all situations. And that's the trademark forehand down the line. Every now and again. You can make it work, but he's been under so much pressure the whole time. This is what Lukaleski does. Tremendous battle from Lukaleski. He's not going to give this up. He's going to keep it going as long as he can. I think he's saying to Shmirev, I'm not, I'm not dead. <laughs> and that's just fantastic play. Well, suddenly, <laughs> a bit of pressure has been introduced as we get right to the end of this third game. Shmiriev takes a deep breath. He's still on the brink. Lupulescu in desperate trouble. But the Russian with serve now. And yet another attempt to close what has been a magnificent performance off. Left, 14, 11. Could it be? I, can't I was about to say what you were, Tony. You just can't quite believe this. Is Shmiriev choking? And that's it. 15 12, three games to zero. A genuine embrace from two world class tough sportsmen but once again on top of the top table Maxime Schmiria champion of the world for ping pong 2014 holds his title three in a row Ilya Lukulescu an absolutely fantastic performance but the ball was just on him all the time and there we have it a thank you to the umpires a wonderful performance and that's the best ping pong that's ever been seen and so we can hand you back now to our master of ceremonies John McDonald thank you ladies and gentlemen magnificent tournament and a thrilling final and now it's time for our presentation please welcome the CEO of Matrim Sport Mr Steve Dawson and the CEO of the World Championship of Ping Pong, Mr. Jeffrey Bogatan. So, ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up receiving $10,000 and the silver medal, and it goes to Ilya Lupolescu. we've all been waiting for the winner receiving $20,000 the gold medal the magnificent trophy but most important of all the title of partypoker.net world champion of ping pong for the third time Maxim Schmirner Such a popular winner, isn't he? Well done, Maxim Shmiriev. Maxim, let's have a little chat with you. Well done indeed. As the celebrations continue, photos all round. Right then, come on then, Max. Let's talk about this because this is your third title in a row. You've done the hat trick. 
How does it feel to be world champion yet again? Amazing. It's an amazing feeling. You can believe it, I think. Thank you very much for all of here. Who is it? Thank you. Thank you for support. That special thing, special thanks for organizers. This is such a great, huge tournament. This is fantastic. Thank you very much for all of them. Maxim, you're so popular here. You love playing in front of this crowd, don't you? It seems that when you play in front of a big crowd like this, it brings out the best in your game, which was simply sublime in that final. So that's true. I love to play before the, uh, before the spectators and for spectators. This is very important for me. OK. And I love table tennis. I love ping pong. And I hope ping pong will make popular uh, our table tennis. This is really, really good. Ping pong forever and table tennis also. Thank you very much. Well, how big can ping pong get now? Because this has been such a huge success. We've had so many messages from people watching this weekend. You're obviously very passionate about the sport. And this event has just showed how big the sport could be. Yes, that's true. This is. Uh, this is different sport to table tennis because we can do his show. He's a, such a great spectator, such a big company team from Holland. This is special things. Fantastic. You are fantastic. Thank you. This is show and it can bring new level for table tennis too. This is a very nice idea to play ping pong. Maxim, one more question. You've won three on the trot. You are three-time world champion. Can you come back next year and make it four? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. That time, it was the most difficult time in my career because the level is growing up from year to year. It's bigger and bigger, so better and better. And next time, I hope I will come to defend my title, but anyway, I expect the best level, best organizing, and uh, I hope the spectators will come to show us and uh, to support us too. Thank you very much. Oh, they will. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 world champion, he's won it three times now, Maxim Shmiriev. So what a victory from the man who's been absolutely stunning throughout this whole tournament. He was favourite from the start and he's won it as well for Magic Maxim. Three really is the magic number. Goodbye. Watch all six Sky Sports channels on your mobile and online.